In this review of inequalities, let's start by talking about the notation for graphing inequalities. For all intents and purposes, we're going to use the open dot for greater than or less than signs, and we're going to use the closed dot or filled in dot for those that are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to on the number line. This means that it does not include a specific value and this does mean it includes up to and including that value. For interval notation, we use parentheses for greater and less thans and we use brackets for or equal to's. In example one, we need to graph and give interval notation for x greater than or equal to three. First, we need to find three. Since it's greater than or equal to, we need to use a closed dot. Next, we have to determine which direction we're heading. Since x is greater than or equal to three, it's heading to the right. It's heading toward positive infinity. We now have to give interval notation for this specific segment of the line. Notice that since a closed dot is equivalent to a bracket, we open the bracket to the right or in the direction the arrow is heading on the graph. Since we can never reach positive infinity, we're just approaching it, we use a parenthesis for the other side, the side heading toward positive infinity. Our interval is from positive three to positive infinity. And this is my interval notation. In example two, we are asked to graph and give interval notation for x less than negative two. First, we find negative two on our number line and since it's not equal to, it's just x less than, we have to use an open dot. Since x is less than negative two, we're heading toward negative infinity or to the left on our number line. When we need to write it in interval notation, we know that we can never approach negative infinity and thus we use a parenthesis instead of a bracket, meaning we never get there, but we get close to it. We're heading toward it. Since the open dot is at negative two, we're not including negative two either. We're just up to negative two. Our interval is from approaching negative infinity to approaching or all the way up to negative two. And so now I have graphed x less than negative two and I've written it in interval notation.